Hello Aquarius, thank you very much for tuning into your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. And for the supportive oracle cards, the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Good. Now, it's kind of dipping down, I'm noticing. I get some creative uh, spreads out here sometimes, I tell you. <laughs> and sometimes I'm just like, it's all about how they want to get the message across, what it takes to get the message across, and I get that. Sometimes it's just kind of like, okay, interesting uh, pattern we got going on here. Do you have an overall energy? No. It's talking about a situation going on here, though. Um, it's revolving around an opportunity. And I am getting this as good, but I feel like... You're seeing this opportunity, but then it's kind of like as you go forward, you're you're recognizing in the past what somebody's done or what's been going on that's kind of set you up for this success. You're seeing some type of past influence later on. Hope that makes sense. Um, because there's a change. These three cards seem to be the most uh, impactful for you. Wheel of... Fortune. The other deck has Wheel of the Year, so I had to be sure I was saying the right one. Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, and then the Empress. High Priestess. Oh, yeah, I get those two. Really, I switch those back and forth. Um, if you are familiar with cards, you might realize right off the bat that these all three are major arcana cards. Like, this is a big, big deal is what I'm getting. Of course, like I always say, um, general read, take it with a grain of salt. But if this hits for you, this is going to be a big deal. That's what I'm feeling. Now, this change, it's a whole new dedication. Like you're dedicating yourself to a whole new situation. And you're balancing the good with the bad. It's not all good. It's not all bad. But there's, there's some balancing going on here for sure. Uh, it's pretty much doing what you like, but also, you know, owning what you don't to make the situation survive and flourish correctly, correctly, to do it properly, to do it the right way. This is about doing something the right way. I feel like the, the bad here is something like you don't really care for or don't like, but it's the right way to do it. So that's why you're going forward that way. And you're dedicating yourself to this whole new situation. As this is coming in, though, you're seeing other things like this new change. It's You're seeing like this resistance around you. Before this change came up, the way it was going, whatever the situation was, you had this resistance. I feel like this resistance has been going for a while. The other side has been resistant, pushing back, not wanting to go. I'm also getting like this. It's kind of like this is going into the past as well, but it's more undercurrent for the other side. Like it's just been a passive, but it's been very trudging along for you. The hanged man. Like a situation was going to change. People felt like it wasn't stable, whatever. You were having a hard time getting people to go along with the situation. And there's been, like, again, I get this. Um, Page of Swords with the Hangman. This is even farther back. More of an undercurrent. Like this passive resistance where people just haven't been working with you or working with the situation. It hasn't been going smoothly at all. And it's been a while. This situation, if this is hitting, your new, new direction. Like new, It's a change. Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. You're dedicated... But to the new change, for the good, for the bad, the whole high priestess I explained before, you know, you don't like the whole situation, but you want it done the right way, so it's more about getting it done the right way.
and you're seeing all this, at this point, I feel like you're seeing all this resistance leading up to this point, causing this wheel to turn. And I feel like the way you're looking at it, you're like, you know what, it's not about liking it or not liking it. This is going to make it work out the right way. This is going to make this work better. It's correcting errors and it's making this more stable and more reliable. I just feel like it's it's the correct way to do this. Like there's problems before, but this the new way it's going, it's more reliable, it's the way it should be. It's not about liking it or not liking it, it's the way it should be. And you're seeing this past influence, you're seeing all this resistance, and you're like, you know what, it was coming to this point one way or another from all this resistance. Like you're seeing it in retrospect, like it was it was headed for this moment one way or another with the way the current and then around you was working, you, it was going to hit sooner or later. I feel like at this point you're seeing that, like it was going to happen. Like, I don't know if you saw it coming up to this point. It's kind of like you're getting to the gate and you're just kind of like, oh, that's what all those signs were that said uh, castle 10 miles ahead. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like you weren't really paying attention before. You're like, yeah, so what? There's a castle. So what? Not realizing that that's where this road was just, that's the only place this road went. That type of thing. Like, oh, all right. Yeah, so there's a castle. Who cares? Oh, that's the only place this road goes is to this castle. Oh, I get what you're saying. Like, it's one of those moments. Like, oh, that's the only option? Oh, okay. Like that. It's one of those moments. So, you're here. You're stepping forward. How do I say this diplomatically? All the ridiculousness in the past, because there's been this passive resistance. I feel like you're just so fed up with it. I have to be honest with you. That's how it's coming through. Like you're like, Ugh, I'm just so over this passive resistance, this constantly trudging through with this situation. You're seeing this reset starting off correctly. By starting off correctly, I feel like it's an easier path in the sense of like, I don't feel like the resistance is there like it was. Is that true? Okay. So the resistance seems to be nullified. I feel like it's up to you. Well, I shouldn't say it's up to you, but I feel like you can see per your situation why that would be nullified because it doesn't seem like it's an issue anymore. That's why I feel like they're saying it's nullified. It's not really like a factor or a question. It's like, I don't feel like you have to worry about it for whatever reason. And you jump right in. Ace of Wands, you're just like, you know what? I feel like you're just like, I'm at this gate. I'm just going to open the gate and go. I'm just, I'm not going to waste time mulling it over. I just, I know what I have to do. It's not about liking it. I know what, how this should work out correctly. I'm just going. And you just go through that gate and you go. Ace of Wands, just, you're going forward. That's that. Just getting it done. Just going forward. Now, I have, if you believe, this seems to come after in your side, uh, the Ace of Wands. And I feel like this is saying, as you go forward, this can be more conducive to what you like. The, if you believe, like, I don't know, some people are very familiar with The Secret, other people aren't, I get that. Um, the Secret by Rhonda Byrne, I like the documentary personally, but this makes me feel like this manifesting thing in the sense, in the tone, that the situation is happening, the situation has to happen. But, like, the manifesting component is how much you like it or how conducive with your life. Like, I don't feel like it has to be a complete burden, but they're warning. Like, it could go either way. Like, if you view it as a burden, it will just kind of reinforce as a burden. If you view it as not a big deal and you're starting to like more of it than you expected, that will also reinforce. It's not as big deal. I like more of this than I realized. Like it's going better than I expected. That type of feel. Like they're warning with this if you believe. It's like what you believe, how you're viewing it, you're going to build that viewpoint. I hope this makes sense. So like it's all about your perception. I really think the situation, I don't feel like you can really manifest it away. Like people might argue with me on that. I get that. But I'm just not one to believe like you can just manifest everything away. I just, I'm not one of those. But I do feel like there's a degree of perception and engagement. You can end up liking this a lot more than you're expecting. 
and things can come in and fill in here to make the situation a lot more pleasurable for you than it originally was. But the, the warning I said, again, like I don't want to like discount this. If it really feels like it's bogging you down and you're starting to hate it, it could get it could get worse that way too. It could go really it can go better or it can go worse. I really don't see like the even keel, but that's that's a possibility. Just so you know. That's what they're saying here. The last card. Chariot. Again, major arcana card. You have you have like a bunch of them here, and you have five total. And quite frankly, aces to me are very powerful cards too. I kind of lump them in with the major arcana in the sense of like they're a strong impact more than not. So this is a big, this situation is a big deal again. That's what I'm feeling. But they're saying here with the chariot, because this is right near, this is right near the if you believe. So you're making this start. And after, after you get used to it, a few weeks in, I'm feeling like a few weeks in, it's like you're going to have this either half full or half empty. At this moment, at this moment with the chariot, if you start viewing it half full, and it's better than you expected, you like it a little more than you thought you would, the chariot is going to take you forward, building on that energy. If you have the reverse, though, chariot's going to take you forward, forward building on that energy. I, I'm really not feeling like the even kill is really going to happen that much. I feel like it's either going to get better or worse. But the if you believe says your viewpoint, like manifest a good situation. I feel like the situation is going to exist either way and you're going to be a part of it. But it doesn't have to be like, it doesn't have to drown you. You can float on like a buoy or something and enjoy the sun, enjoy the sunshine is what they're saying. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be something where you're constantly treading water. You could be just floating on a, on uh, one of those inner tubes and enjoying the sunshine. Still out there at sea, but you know, you're doing what you got to do and you're enjoying what you can. You're making the best of it. I feel like that's the whole point of this. I really do. <sighs> Anything else with this? I feel like we hit it. I hope that helps. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.